Hello and welcome everyone. This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion, and today I'm bringing you another sponsored video from none other than the Silver Trader. Now, if you like anything that you see in any of these videos, please head over to the Silver Trader's website and check it out for yourself. Um, there you'll find every one of these coins that I do feature um, and you'll be able to purchase them no matter where you are pretty much. So, yep, I do have the lucky coin. This is the one that I will be announcing on Monday um, and I will be going through what you need to do to win this and it's going to be a very, very, very quick draw. So, I just wanted to remind everyone to please stay tuned and to keep an eye, keep watching these videos because that is going to be going away to somebody because the draw, well, is for five ounces of gold. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> so, <clears throat> what do I have in front of me? Well, I have a highly desirable collection. Um, well, I say collection, it's one coin, but it's a series that this is the six year running. And no doubt those who are in the know have already bought one or are in the process of, you know, buying one. And you know what? These are very desirable. So what is it? Well, Back in 2014, John McCanty, who works at the U.S. Mint, teamed up with um, the Australian Mint, a.k.a. the Perth Mint, to create this stunning coin. Now, as you can see, it is $1, Queen Elizabeth II, and it says Australia. And... <clears throat> Excuse me, my cold still has not subsided. The queen's wearing her lovely crown, her pearl, uh, pearl earrings, and her pearl necklace. So, on the face of it, it is a beautiful, beautiful design. And I think Jody Clark designed this front bit. So, where does Paul uh, McCanty come into it? What is his role? Well, He's been continually working with the series of this lovely Reeded Edge coin to bring us the Australian Wedge-Tailed Eagle. Now, this is the brand new one, 2020, one ounce, four nines, fine silver. And this is so intricate. I'm going to zoom in so that we can have a fantastic look at everything. Now, I don't know what it is with the Perth Mint at the moment, but they do like their frosted effects. It seems to be a fad. And we have the P right there, just between the uh, A and U. And that's just to uh, replicate that, that, or to indicate that that is the Perth Mint. Look at that eagle's determination. Look at his facial uh, features. Now, the eagle, you don't need to be in America to appreciate the eagle's beauty, its power, or just its stunning just presence. And, you know, on a coin, I don't think there is anything that hasn't been captured for this beautiful beast. I mean, it is, you know, I call the, you know, the bald eagle or the eagles a beast because they are amazing and they are so majestic when you see them in the wild flying. They truly are. And I've been to a few places in Scotland where I've had the opportunity to actually see a few of these. And, uh, wow. So, this is the BU version of the Wedge-Tailed Eagle. They do make a high relief. There are a couple of scratches on the capsules. It's not on 
the actual coin and you can see that very clearly. Um, they do. This is the BU version. They do make a high relief version, which is only 5,000. And then they do also make a gold version, one ounce gold. Again, this is for the very, very true collectors. Um, even by the Perth Mint standard, the one ounce gold coin is significantly higher than that of the Simpsons, believe it or not. So that tells you that there's a much wider audience for this coin. Um, and I'm just having a look around it and look at the feathers. It is, it's just beautiful. The talons, you can see the tail feathers. I do like the, you know, the map with then you have the mirror finish uh, around. It stops and it doesn't interrupt the design at all. And then you have the matte line going again around the complete edge. What is a little bit unusual about that design is that where the matte edge goes around, it is much thinner where the picture is. So no matter which way you look at it, it's not a, an optical illusion. It is much thinner around here than let's say here. And no, that's not an error. That is something that they've done deliberately because the main focus is this uh, wedge-tailed eagle. Now, I am extremely curious to know what your views, what your thoughts are. Are you going to be picking up one of these? I personally, for anybody out there that is collecting, or that has been collecting, even to go back six years ago and to start the collection, yeah, I, I still think this is a viable option if you are interested in doing so. Um, it does not at all scream out anything but elegance. It is truly, truly beautiful. And I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm sponsored to do so. Because uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm sponsored to give my honest and objective opinion about a coin. And if I do see a fault, I'm going to let you know straight away. Um, I, you know, as I constantly say, I'm not a big fan of the matte finish. Because it's easily, you know, scratched up, damaged, and everything else. And there is some marks here, but that is, again, on the capsule. It's not on the actual queen's face, as you can see when I... Um, move the light around. You'll just see it on the capsule. So, there we have it. The Australian wedge-tailed eagle. And it is absolutely stunning. Hmm. So, please let me know what your thoughts are, what your opinions are down below in the comments section. I will leave a link to the Silver Traders website, as always, in my description. I'll also leave a link to my website for all my hand poured silver. And yeah, make sure that uh, if you do like it, please share it around and let others know. I'm here to show these off and to let you guys know what's uh, available and what's out. And in turn, hopefully, you guys share this video around and let other people know. But, yeah, this is definitely a, a collector's coin. Um, and, yeah, I can definitely see a completed series, whenever they stop making them, being something to be desired. Because the eagle is so iconic. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Please like, comment, and subscribe.
Thank you very much. Bye for now.